Hello and welcome back to our Bitbond demo. Today we're going to show you how we're going to create a crowd sales smart contract without any coding. A crowd sales smart contract is basically a token sale or a token offering that are also known as ICOs, STOs or IDOs. These are offerings that uh, enable projects to uh, raise funds through crowd sales in an easy and efficient manner by leveraging blockchain technology and tokenization. In order to be able to create a token sale, um, first you need to make sure that you have a token that you can offer for sale. So you can create a token using token tool by simply filling in the blank in this create token page in the token tool section. And then once completed, you are ready to create a token sale. Go to tokentool.bitbond.com and select the network on which you issued the token. Now, make sure to connect your wallet and then choose the token that you wish to offer for sale. In this case, we're gonna choose the ACME token and then click on continue. Now we'll be redirected to the token parameters page. This will help us set the terms of the tokens. First, you start by selecting the payment token in which you wish to receive investments. You can either accept the native cryptocurrency of the network you're issuing the token sale on, or you can also choose a custom token that runs on the same network that can be accepted as a form of payment as well. In our case, we're gonna choose, for example, the USDR stablecoin. It is important that the custom token is running on the same network on which you are issuing the token sale. In this case, it's the Avalanche network. Now we can accept investments with the USDR stablecoin and we will set the price per token. In this case, we will put that 10 USDR equal 1 ACME. Next, you will have to set the soft cap and the hard cap of the amount you wish to raise. Note, the soft cap is at least 50% than the hard cap. In this case, we will put that we would like to raise 100,000 as a minimum and a hard cap or a maximum we put 1 million. Meaning that there are 1 million ACME offered on sale. Now you can set the investment amount limits per investor. If there are no limits, then you can just simply put zero. In this case, we select zero. After that, you select the starting time of the token sale. It is important to note that before the token sale starts, you will have to send the tokens to the smart contract address. Therefore, it is important that you give yourself enough buffer time before the starting time of the sale in order to be able to send the tokens accordingly. Here, you can set the token sale duration in days. So we're going to put the duration for one year. And now in this section, you can lock the tokens before them being available to investors. So for example, in here, we're going to lock the tokens for one day at the end of the sale. And the investors will be then able to claim their investments only one day after the token sale end time. Now, you can select whether you need to whitelist investors before allowing them to invest in your sale. Sometimes you might require that as an organization because you might need to perform what is called Know Your Customer or KYC, meaning that you will require whitelisting investors prior to accepting investments. To do that, simply select only whitelisted addresses can invest. You will be able to then whitelist investors at a later stage under the managed token sale functionality using token tool as well. Here you select the token sale owner address. If you are not the owner and someone else is the owner, then you simply put their public key. If you're the owner, just keep it the same and click on continue. We are now at the token parameters review page. So here, just make sure that you review that you set the configurations for your token sale according to the terms that you want. And now click on create sale. A pop-up window will appear with MetaMask. 
where you will need to confirm that transaction in your wallet and to pay fees accordingly. So you review all the information, click on confirm. And once confirmed, we will get a notification that the transaction has been confirmed and that our token sale has been created successfully. This is the token sale contract address. And this is a shareable link for the user interface on which you can accept investments and redirect investors to see it. And you see that the sale starts in 16 minutes, that my address needs to be whitelisted. And also it is important that we send the tokens to the smart contract address before the sale starts. Now we need to send the tokens. Sending the tokens happens in two stages. Click approve first. At this stage, you will have to confirm the transaction in your MetaMask. After approving and confirming in your wallet, you go to the next step of transferring the tokens to the smart contract address. Click on transfer. Once again, confirm the transaction in your wallet, pay the network fees. What basically happens here is that we send the tokens or the assets to the smart contract address that basically locks these tokens for the whole token sale period. And once all investments are submitted and we reach the amount that we wanted to invest and the claim period is reached for the investors to claim their investments, the smart contract will unlock the tokens for the investors to claim their tokens accordingly. Now, to edit the token sale configurations or make um, additional actions, simply go to the Manage Token Sale section in the Token Tool website, paste your token sale contract address, click on Continue, and we will be at the Manage Token Sale um, parameters page of the token sale itself. And now we would like to whitelist investors in order to accept investments. In this case, we click on add addresses you can upload a csv or an excel file with all the addresses of the investors that can be whitelisted or simply you can paste um, multiple address in the field below click save and now you will need to once again confirm that transaction in your wallet to pay fees so once confirmed and the transaction is processed we will see that our investor addresses will, would have been whitelisted successfully. Once they're whitelisted, we can go to the token sale user interface where we can accept investments. And we will see that me as an investor now my address is whitelisted and once the token sale starts, I can um, submit my investments accordingly. Now that the token sale started, we can go to the investor user interface where we can accept investments. And we will see, as we saw earlier, that our address is whitelisted and that we can start investing. Click on invest, confirm in the wallet. Now we can submit our investment. We will insert the amount that we would want to invest in. We can see the balance that I have 21 million and a half USDR. I submit the investment, confirm the payment in my wallet. Now the transaction has been processed by the network and we see that I invested 5 million USDR in the ACME token. When the sale ends and the tokens are unlocked, I can come back to this user interface and claim my investments accordingly. Thank you for watching and see you next time.